Hey guys, I'm ISLTPW and welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to download and install Forge from Minecraft 1.8.9. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've already done a Forge tutorial, but I think a lot of people got confused because I had a lot of people asked me to do one for 1.8.9, even though the tutorial is pretty much the same. So I decided to do one for 1.8.9 because a lot of you guys play PvP. But guys, before I show you how to download and install this, it would be absolutely awesome if you hit the like button on this video. And if you're new to the channel, then why not hit that subscribe button? You can also check me out on Twitter and Instagram at IselTPW. I post there as well quite regularly. Right, so let's get straight into this and let's see how we download and install Forge 1.8.9 from Minecraft. And some mods. So first guys, what we need to do is start up our Minecraft launcher and I'm using the native launcher here which can be got from minecraft.net. If you're using the jar launcher then it's very much similar. So what we need to do first is go to your launch options, click on that and add new. So I've already got 1.8.9 installed here already but I'm going to install another one here because I want to show you something that you need to do. So you go to your release version, so if I did that too quickly, you click on your latest release here with the drop down arrow, you click on that and you find out whatever version you're looking for. You need to then go to your resolution and change this here, this is a very handy tip. So depending on your monitor, what resolution you're using in your monitor, that's what you need to put in here. So if you've got a full HD monitor then you put 1920 by 1080 in here. You also need to change your JVM arguments because this defaults to 1G which is 1 gigabyte. And what it's recommended is that you use half of your gigabytes of your RAM. So this is the RAM usage that Minecraft will use of the RAM available. If you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM installed then I would recommend changing this to 8. If you've got 8 gigabytes of RAM installed in your computer then I would recommend changing this to so I'm just going to leave this at 8 for mine as well. You need to leave these two tabs open and press save. You can also click in here and you can also change the icon that it uses to a chest or whatever. You can also change this to Minecraft. This is just the text 1.8.9 so that it stands out a little bit more clearly in here. So you can see Minecraft 1.8.9 and I've got a chest in here and it's telling me the version that I'm using. But we're looking to do modern Minecraft and download Forge. So you just open up your browser, go to Google and type in Forge. And you click on the Minecraft Forge link here, which I'm going to leave in the description of this video. And you're looking for the version of Minecraft that you want to download it for. So we're looking for 1.8.9. So we first go to 1.8 and you get a drop down here and then you click on 1.8.9. Now you're given two, ver uh, two download options over here, download latest or download recommended. I always download from the recommended because it's the one that's been tried and tested, All most of the bugs have been taken out of it. So I need to click on the Windows installer here and it's going to bring you to this download page and if just in case you get something in the middle here, don't click here. What you need to wait up here is wait up here, it's an automatic download, wait for that to stop and then press skip. And then on the bottom left here, you're going to see the forge icon download here. So we're just going to minimize the window and all you need to do is drag and drop this onto your desktop, like so. Next we're going to go to our Minecraft folder and to find your Minecraft folder just type in the browser bar up here of your files folders, percentage, app data percentage and press enter. And the first one that should show up here is .minecraft because it's got a full stop before it. So you just double click on .minecraft. And in here you need to have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder then you need to create one. I already have one here so I'm just going to create a new and type in mods. It won't let me create this but I'm just going to show you what to do. Create new, type in mods and because it's a duplicate folder it won't let me. So I'm just going to press no here and delete that new folder. So now we just need to click on the forge icon here and double click on it and it's going to bring you up this little icon here which Minecraft Forge, install client, install server or extract. And what we're trying to do here is install client. Do not click on install server or extract. So press OK. And that's going to give you a little download bar there. Mine is already done. It's really that quickly. Successfully install client forge version 1.8.9. Press OK. If we went into our versions here, we should now see 
a forge folder in here. We're not going to do anything with that, just wanted to show you that there. So we now have Forge 1.8.9 installed. We need to shut down our, our launcher and restart it back up again. So I'm just going to restart it here. And we need to go back into launch options. First off, you need to press add new. And we're now looking for, in the drop down here, right down the bottom, you've got a release 1.8.9 Forge. You click on that. We need to go back into resolution here and put put in again the resolution of your PC monitor. So mine is 2K, but yours may be full HD. If it's full HD, you put it 1920 by 1080. But mine is a 2K resolution, so I'm going to put in 2560 and 1440. You all and you leave this resolution tab open. You then click on JVM arguments. Again, it's defaulted to one gigabyte, and as I said, recommended as half of the amount of memory until. You've got so much memory that it doesn't really matter. So I would recommend 8 gigabytes of RAM if you've got 16 gigabytes. That will really help your frames per second and the speed of Minecraft and free you up from any lag. So I'm going to press save here. And now we're going to go back to news. So we're going to click on the arrow here and we're going to look for our version of Forge Minecraft. So here we are with our 1.8.9 Forge. I'm going to click on that and it's now saying play 1.8.9 Forge. We're going to click on that and it should start up Minecraft. And this is the screen you get. You can see that Forge is installing with the clients, etc. The mode. So we're now going to go into single player here. And I'm going to go into my tutorial world and play selected world. And we want to see if it's been successful. If you press escape, you can see over here mod options. So we've got Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Installer, and Minecraft Forge. So we now know that Forge is installed and we're ready to do some mods and play around with some mods. And I've got loads of mods ready to go guys, okay, so I'm going to escape back out here again, press save and quit again to title, and we're going to quit out again altogether. We need to go into that mods folder that we had open a while ago, I'm going to double click in here, and I have a folder here with all the mods that I use for PvP. So you can download your mods from, uh, from the likes of Optifine, or if you want to go to Planet Minecraft and download some mods. These are the mods that I use. I've got loads here as you can see. So I'm going to put all of these back in here into my mods folder. I had auto tape and skin changer. And I also have a replay mod for 1.8.9. These are the old versions of Forge that I had. So you can see I already had Forge installed. So, but I'm actually going to put them Optifine back into the versions here. And what you need to do then is again, start up your launcher. And I'm going to press play and this is now going to load in the mods for us so now you can see it's loading up the mods so I'm going to go back into my single player here and I go into my tutorial world so we're just logged in there now and as you can see here right on the top left you've got the can like keystrokes that just disappeared because I put in the backslash I can also press escape and go into options I can go into video settings and I can also see that shaders in here so I know that I've got Optifine installed. I can go into mod options and down here on the left you can see all of the mods that I have installed. So guys that's how you download and install Forge and mods for Minecraft 1.8.9. I really hope that you found this useful and if you did it would be awesome guys if you pressed like on this video. And if you have any questions about how to download and install Forge, then don't be afraid to leave me a comment down below and ask me, you know, how do you do it? So I've loads of time for you guys, so make sure that you do leave me a comment down below. And guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I am IceltPW, and we'll see you again in another video. Bye!